morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here I feel so like snotty today <laughs> um Vinny had a cold last week and then Mark got it and now I've got it as well not so bad Mark's got it worse than me but yeah so if I sound a bit nasally it's because I've got a bit of a snotty nose which is just lovely but it's Saturday today and I feel like I've been all over the place this week I've had such a busy week and um, I've been vlogging little bits and bobs throughout the week and I just thought right I'm just going to put it into this vlog and we'll do like a kind of a uh like a summary of what I've been up to this week. Basically, we've been sorting Renzo's bedroom out, like getting the panelling done and stuff like that. And I want to finish it as well this weekend. Well, get some painting done as well. Not finish his room, obviously. Um, but I want to get some painting done this weekend as well. So um, Renzo's got football this morning. He's got a football match. So we're going to go and watch that. And um, yeah, the boys have now broken up for Easter holidays, which is really, really lovely. I feel like loads of people already had their Easter holidays or are already off, but our boys finished on Friday. So yesterday was Friday. We had a movie night. We love a movie night. And do you know what? This is our first proper movie night with the new TV set up and it literally felt like a cinema. I love having the TV like right in the center now. It's just so, so nice. I love having on fire like that as well. It's so cool. So we watched The Boss Baby 2, Family Business. It's like a sequel to The Boss Baby. Really, really fab on Sky. It literally came out yesterday. Sky released a new movie every week. So you've got 52 new films this year, which is insane. They have lots of Sky original films, lots of blockbuster classics. And as you know, I am a Sky ambassador. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you over the next year or so. But we watched The Boss Baby 2, Family Business last night, and it was really, really good. We watched the first one actually on our way out to Florida back in 2017 now. Vinny always remembers it because it's the first film he watched on the plane so it was really really nice to be able to watch this one and it's so funny it's just so good it's so vibrant and the kids really really enjoyed it I won't chat to you for too long because Mark said I need to be on it today whilst getting ready so I've been told and I need to get ready quickly so yes I'll leave you with the footage from last night and then I'll also come back in a bit and we can get the review from the boys as well so it's the start of the Easter holidays now. We're watching The Boss Baby 2 Family Business. Very excited to watch it on our new cinema setup. Who's loving this setup? Fire's me. on. No, me. Do you me. like it? Me, yeah. Yeah, we like it. Boss baby? Ba no. You are? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's the boss baby up there. Where's boss baby? No, it's not there. There he is. So I'm all ready now. Vinny wanted to come on and say what he thought about boss baby 2 family business. What do you think, Vin? I think it was good. Do you? Yeah. What was good about it? Well, it's a very like Christmassy film. That was Christmassy. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's Christmassy because it's <laughs> snowing and all that. <laughs> so it's Christmassy, is it? I'm saying it is. Oh right, okay. Anything else? Um, the, the, oh, don't want to spoil it, do you? Go right, on, you can uh, say. The villain is actually a baby. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what it'd be like for you and Dad to be little kids. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Do you think yeah. I'd be good, or do you think I'd be naughty? Uh, Maybe a bit cheeky. Bit cheeky? Yeah. So Renzo's here now with his review. What did you think of the Boss Baby 2, Renz? I like it when fighting the villains. You like it when they were fighting the villains? Yeah? So Tim and Ted become babies again for 48 hours and basically they've grown apart, haven't they? Yeah. And they're not really very close anymore, are they? No. Do you think you and Vinny will be close when you get older? Uh, yeah, you will. Becoming babies again kind of brings them back together. So it was a really, really lovely film and we enjoyed it, didn't we? Okay, so Vinny and Renzi, I've got a question before we go. Yeah. In this family, who would be the boss and who would be the baby? Uh, Landy would always be the baby around here. Dad would be I'm the boss. Dad would be the boss? I'm oh, not no, a baby. No, you're, you're the boss, are you? No. 
Landy oh, would be a baby. Landy would be the baby. I think Dad would be the boss. Yeah. Uh, I think there would be two bosses, <laughs> Mum and Dad. <laughs> oh, not you. Uh, actually, yeah. I'll put me above you two and then you two. Okay, and Renzo, would you ever be the boss? You don't want to be the boss. What? What, so when you have a family, you wouldn't want to be the boss, would you? I think in this house, Mummy is the boss. Mm, Dad and does. you're all my babies. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link to the trailer in the description box below. Make sure you go watch it, because it's really, really fab. And trailers always make me want to watch a film, I don't know about you. And also, if you have seen it already, let me know what you thought of it. If you've seen the first one as well, let me know which one you preferred. I think this one was actually my favourite out of the two. It was really, really good. It was a really nice one to watch as a family. So yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to watch Frenzo play football this morning. He's got a match this morning. I'm really excited because I haven't seen him play a match before yet. He obviously goes to football training all the time, but I've not watched a match. So this is going to be really, really fun. We're all going to go watch him. And then what I want to do now is I'm going to insert some footage from the week showing you how we've got on with his bedroom and all of that kind of stuff. And then I'll come back to you and be back in present day. Last time you saw, it. it was all blue, wasn't it, the room? Yeah, it's all been skimmed. Same. Pardon? No one's seen it since then. No, so it's been skimmed. Mark's painted it all. And now we've got the panelling look. So we ordered four panels like this. Originally, we were going to have the, the lines go like this, how you can see it. But we're going to actually put it vertically because I feel like, it, one, it will be easier to fit like that. And I don't know, I just feel like it's going to look nice because we've changed the plan, haven't we? with how we're going to do the inside of the nook. So they're quite big panels, they're quite heavy. That's obviously sideways. Yeah. Which, yeah, would have looked good. It's more like a log cabin vibe, isn't it? It is, yeah. And this is what it looks like vertical. I think it looks better vertical, actually. Don't you? Like Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah, I do prefer it that way, actually. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Makes the ceiling look taller as well, having it that way. Loving it, we'll come back later on when it's done. And also I've ordered some paint. I don't know if it'll be here in time for the video. Hopefully it will be by the time the end of this video we can get some paint on the walls. We're gonna go for the red on this wall. Oh, that's a nightmare. So we're two panels in now. It's a nightmare. You're doing well. It's such a nightmare. It's fiddly because of the ceiling, but we're getting no, there now. Out all the walls and all the floors and all the, the ceilings all not straight. And these are big wide panels, they're so big, and aren't they? Cut to like perfect lengths, anything's out. So now it's just getting all the measurements right for here. So I might as well talk about it now actually, because initially we were gonna put like wood in this area here, and I just could not find the right sized MDF, like veneered panels that we needed to go in here. So what we decided was to keep the paneling, just go all the way inside, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll paint that section a different color. So we're gonna go with like a dark charcoal, almost black color in, in the nook. We'll do it together. And, you paint the <laughs> and then obviously we're going to have like a cupboard or cabinet at the top. So is that nook going to be about there? Yeah, just masking tape it, I suppose, and then paint it. Yeah, yeah, like a, a line. You could probably. Yeah, so we're going to Mark's going to finish putting the panel in, in here today, but not this side because yeah. this is where we've got yeah, the little up. like shelves in here. But these are going to be like smooth MDF in here, and then we'll just have the panel in on these bits, but it's a little bit fiddly, isn't it, that one? How are you going to do that, babe? What's that? That's going to be so fiddly, that one. Like that. Oh, I suppose you'll just cut it like that, wouldn't you? Like yeah, I'll cut the holes out. Okay, my love, so we're back We're back to present day, and I thought I'd give you an update on Renzo's bedroom, because as you can see, the carpet is gone, and also Mark's built something behind me, but let me show you. 
what the wall looks like now. So this is all primed. Mark did prime this the other day and then today I'm gonna to get started on giving um, a first coat of paint on the walls. Well, just mainly on the paneling. But let me show you what it all looks like. So Mark also popped this paneling on the wall here the other day. So this is looking really, really good. We just need to pop some MDF in there so we can create the shelves. But yeah, it's looking amazing. I'm really, really pleased with this paneling. I think it looks so good. And then over here, he has created like a little bit of a platform for the wardrobes. So we're gonna have the PAX wardrobes going along here. They're gonna look great. And then we're gonna make them look like they're built in. So this is why he's created this platform. And then he's just popped this here so you can kind of see. We're gonna have the skirting board obviously go all the way along the front of it and then just follow it around so it looks like it's all built in. So he's obviously measured it all so it all is gonna fit in there perfectly. But yeah, let's get some paint on the wall, shall we? I'm just gonna get it all out and then we'll have a little look at it. So this is the color that we've chosen to go onto the paneling wall and it is Lick Red 01. I really like this color. It's a really gorgeous, like kind of warm terracotta red and I think it's gonna work really well in this room. So let's get it onto the walls and we'll just start cutting in. Okay, so I finished painting for day one of painting and I've literally started there. You can see I've started putting another coat on there just because I had a little bit of extra paint on. So it looks a little bit patchy elsewhere, but it's all drying now and I really love the colour. I just think it looks so good. So as you walk into the room, that, that's the view you're going to get, which I think looks so, so good. Cutting in is so much harder than I thought it would be, um, but we got there in the end. Down here is obviously gonna be like a different color. So it's gonna be like a charcoal color and then we'll have the cabinets above it. So I think it's gonna look really good. I wish I could do more stuff red now in this room. So I feel like maybe we could think of some other ways to incorporate this gorgeous red color because I love how rich it is and how I just love the color of it. I think it's so, so nice. So that is what his bedroom currently looks like. Let me go show you some other little bits. I bought some bits for his bedroom already. So I'll show you that and I'll also show you the carpet sample as well. You have to ignore the absolute state of me. I've had a cold this week and my makeup is all worn off and I'm in my scruffs. But anyway, I wanted to quickly show you what I got for Renzo's bedroom. So we are going with a the football theme. So I bought him this from Dunelm. 
they had um this one was i think it was 12 pounds yeah it was 12 pounds look how cool this football cushion is i thought it was so so nice and i'm just gonna pop that on his bed when it's all nicely done i haven't ordered him a bed yet but i am gonna get him one soon and then i ordered this throw which is this one here and that one i'm just gonna put across the top of his bed it's just a football fleece and that one was 12 pounds so i got that and then the bedding i got was this football bedding and i did realize after that i ordered him a double but his bed is going to be a small double so i'm hoping that it will still fit if i use like uh, a double duvet so this is the bedding that he's got and it is reversible as well so i'll show you the back so you can see that it's in the gray here and then over this side you'll see that it's in the white as well so it's a reversible duvet cover it was 20 pounds so i thought that would be really nice all together to add that kind of football element to his room without it being too like garish so that is what i got and i also wanted to let you know we ordered our carpet the other day so this is the carpet we've gone for as you can see it's cream but we only have carpets upstairs and to be honest like there's never anything up here really to get the carpets dirty i say that now something will probably get spilled on it at some point but these ones you can actually wash it with like a diluted bleach if anything was to get on it so we went for the carpet right hamptons elite carpet in the cut in the color 03 swan so this is really lovely like a really plush carpet it's 100 percent polypropylene i didn't want to get wool because we've currently got a wool carpet and i don't like it at all there's always like little wool bits everywhere and it's just annoying so i wanted to get a nice plush carpet so that is the one that we've gone for hello darling Gigi girls come to say hello what are you doing? Have you been playing? Hey? Have you been playing downstairs? Go on then. So that is everything I got for Renzo's bedroom. I have also got one other thing from Etsy. So let me go grab that one a second and then I can show you it. And then I also bought this from Etsy and it is a large like wall covering, like a wall sticker. And you can see there, it's a footballer and then it's got Prido 21 on there. So Prido, obviously our surname and then Renzo's birthday is 21. So I thought that'd be a really nice little like personal touch to add to his bedroom. They've got so many great bits on Etsy. So I'm gonna have a little look to find some other bits on there as well. But that is everything that I've bought for his bedroom so far. This is fun. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be the final update for his room today. Um, it's been a bit of a up, it's been a crazy week this week so yeah thank you so so much for watching guys don't forget to check out the boss baby 2 family business i'll leave a link in the description box so you can go and watch the trailer and let me know if you've seen it already thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you all very soon